Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition. So, I found the giant skeleton off screen to get up to 4,000 souls. And you may notice something a little bit different. The HUD is kind of different now. It's a bit more clean and everything. I'm not too keen on the health and stamina bars in the top left. But overall, I think it's a great improvement. Uh, it's a mod from the Dark Souls Nexus. I'll put a link to it in the description. Just be aware you need the DS fix. And make sure if you download it to read the README on installation instructions. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me and I'll help you out. Right, so let's oh. buy this miracle. Hello? Yes. Birch's item. Force. Come again. Unlimited power. I'm sorry, I can't hear the word force without thinking of Star Wars. Right, now we've got that. Let's equip it at the bonfire. You have to equip skill, uh, spells in this game. I know it's kind of weird. You can see there I've got two slots. And there's that. So now, if I equip my Pyromancy Flame, but switch to the Force spell, it's not going to use it. I have to put the Tasman on, and then we can use it. I've got to be careful I don't smack the NPC or anything. I'm not sure if it would aggro him since he's... Uh, it doesn't do any damage, but I don't want to take that risk. Let's just get that spell back. And we can be off. Off to the wonderful land, the wonderful wizard of us. Because, 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 the wonderful wizard of us. Let's put our shield back on. Let's not get too crazy here. Get off the side, bitch. The HP bars look different. Interesting. I did not know this. I mean, this isn't going to be everyone's cup of tea. Sorry, sorry to use an overly English term there, but it's it's. Whoa! Steady there, fella. It's not going to be for everyone, but personally, I really like it. Screw you. I don't, I don't like the HP bars too much, but yeah, what can you do? I mean, he's constantly updating it, so sure he will change it if he gets enough feedback no block block damn it yeah had to do that I'm wasting a lot of Estus here oh he's alive I'm wasting a lot of Estus but that's okay the next bonfire isn't too far away the one after that is quite a ways away but that's okay now we're going to grab this, we've made the path safe. We're going to jump over here and we can get a ring over here. If I can actually get around the damn wall. And all this ring does, you can actually buy these later in the game, but for now, lose nothing upon death and the ring will break. Uh, we'll equip it because why the hell not, we may as well, we don't have any other rings. And uh, it could save us a bit of backtracking or at least our humanity that we've got active right now. Because when you die with a, uh, an inhuman form, you lose your human form. But if you have any other humanity in the top left, uh, say that number says 1 instead of 0 or 10 or whatever, uh, you'd keep that as long as you get back to your bloodstain. Same with your souls. The only thing you lose upon death is your active humanity. For good. But you'd lose everything if you didn't get back to your bloodstain. So I've lost on dead. You never lose items though. Okay. So go along here. I know this part of the game fairly well. Two handing definitely works better. None of that. None of that, buddy. Ah, oh, I really don't recommend you do two hand, at least not until you're pretty experienced with the game. I'm not saying I'm great at this game because I'm not, but what does this say? Secret head. No, I'm pretty sure you just fall to your death. Should really write that down, but I'm lazy. The thing I don't like about the messages on the floor is you can't see if they've been rated down or up. You can just see if they've been rated. So it will just say ratings 2. But you don't know if that's two negative ratings or two positive ones. Holy crap! 
I might have forgotten that he was there. What does this say? Comfort, yes. In other words, that's a safe spot. Ah! No! Need to be a little bit more careful here. First of all, let's try something. Yeah, that kind of helped. See if we can backstab this guy. No, we can't. But damn it, we tried. What's that? Short sword. Ooh, that could be useful. Probably not, but it could be. Need to get rid of this hand axe as soon as possible, really, because it sucks balls. Then we've got a better shield. Let's equip that immediately. Blocks 93 physical instead of... Uh, what? 85 that the other shield did? I'm not even sure. 65. Wow, that's considerably better. Still not great. It's it's still a really bad shield, but a decided improvement. You are dead, sir. There was a summon sign there, and there's one there as well because we're human, so we can summon these people for co-op. Don't need co-op in this area, and frankly, it feels a bit like cheating to me. So I tried to steer steer clear, steer clear of that when I learned to speak. All right, so now we'll spawn there if we die, which hopefully we won't, but you never know happened before it can happen again and but uh, what a backstab you got damn it come here see if we can force him okay, let me pass no not that way oh, you suck good way to take advantage of them though as soon as they get up you can't hit enemies on the floor Okay, does this... No, 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 Not what I was trying to do. There we go. Slow that guy down just to make life easier for us. Oh, he's jumping. He's jumping. Let me get behind you. Yeah. Hey, we've got a friend. That did the block. And you're all dead. This is not... Very eloquent, but we're alive, and that's the point. So down here, first of all, let's deal with this guy. Oh. Yeah. Now, there's a merchant over here. This is the first merchant of the game, if you come in this direction. Well, now. Which you kind of have to. You have your wits about you, hmm? Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. <laughs> This guy's got cause it's got blah blah. This guy's got some good shit. Go and Oh screw you. He's having a go at me now because I didn't buy anything. I'm trying to use these. Right, we're gonna use these up. And then we're gonna buy everything we can that is useful. But honestly, we're not gonna be able to afford a lot. We really need to get some souls and then come back in for this guy. You can kill him and get a pretty good sword that's fairly popular. Which we might, but we need to buy what he has that's good first, otherwise we won't be able to get it. Ow. Because there's some stuff this guy sells that only he sells. For example, the orange guidance soapstone, which allows you to write the messages on the floor. So we're definitely going to buy that first. We can... We kind of need the residence key, and I'll show you why. 1,000 souls, 3,000 souls. Right, we need to buy those two from him as well. We could buy another weapon as well. We could buy a short bow, which would be very useful. We could buy a heat shield, which is much better than the current shield we have, and I might just buy that instead for now. We can always come back and get the the short bar another time. Yeah, let's get the heater shield. Why not? Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's equip that now. Oh, wooden shield! You did not last long. The wooden shield's got a little bit better magic defense and a bit better lightning. Oh yeah, one thing I did want to point out: that mace that I got in the first episode. If you look down. Uh, just to the right of the talisman picture, it's got 300 next to the bleed symbol, which means it causes 300 bleed. Uh, none of my other weapons at the moment have any effects on them. So for that reason, you can cause the opponents to bleed. So it's not too bad of a PvP weapon or a weapon if you just want to make an enemy bleed out. But, I don't know. It's just too slow and clumsy for me. I much prefer the hand axe, even though the hand axe is the first weapon you get and it's terrible. So now we've been to the merchant, we're going to go back here, rest up. And then we're going to head to the left towards our 
first boss of the game. First real boss. I'm gonna kill that guy just so he doesn't follow us. Again, we could summon this guy here. But that tends to take a long time and often fails. It would just say summoning failed because the net code on this game is not great to be polite. Careful. Oh, he jumped. Oh, now he's using Estus. Screw you, buddy. Let's deal with this guy. Right, we're on our way to our first boss and there's not going to be another bonfire between us and it. But there's a few things I want to pick up, and there's quite a few enemies in the way. So, it's in our best interest to not take any damage, if possible. Don't expect me to not take any damage, but I'm going to do my best. So, got to be careful of this guy here. Almost got hit there, because I wasn't expecting him to do that attack. Is there even anything out here? Doesn't look like it. There's a shortcut down there. Right there. Maybe you can run and jump out the window or something, I really don't know. Let's try, just for experimentation. I really don't want to die. Maybe you can, I don't know. We'll, we'll leave that for now. This is just here. We know this is not a Mimic, because like I said, Mimics don't show up. Well, maybe I didn't mention it, but anyway, mim Mimics don't show up for a good while. When you start the game. And Mimics never respawn as well. There we go, that's those dead. What do we got here? Firebomb. That's just that thing that he threw at us. And this guy's dropped something as well. Another short sword. Let's check out the short sword. I've never actually used it, I don't think. Is it any better? Where is it? It's got a tiny little bit less physical attack. Um, we can't wield it effectively, apparently. Do we need more dexterity? Yeah, we need more dexterity. Okay, we'll stick to that next now then. There's plenty for what we're trying to accomplish for now. Just these guys that were throwing the firebombs at us, so maybe if we sneak, we can sneak. Yeah. Genius, I know. Kind of want to knock them off for the fun of it. Let's, let's try jabbing this guy and then try knocking the other guys off. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. That is most definitely me dead. Whoops. <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to go off with the third shot, or the second shot, so I swung again, and, uh, yeah, that's okay, well, at least I don't even have to go back up there to get my blood stain back, but I'm just going to run there now, just equip my SS flasks, I'm going to very quickly run this way, uh, not in there, and we are basically where we was before anyway, so it's not a huge deal, do need to be more careful than that though, And when I die, because I will, I think that's quite obvious, I'll cut out the trek back most of the time. But for like a 10 second run like this, it's it's not necessary. Especially when I'm explaining things. Oh, what the hell? That's bullshit, buddy. You got me killed. Because you're suicidal tendencies. Uh-oh. Screw you! Vengeance is sweet. Okay, we've got another soul of a lost undead. Was it worth the death? No, but that's okay. Think we can open this because we have the master key? Yes. I think if we uh, have the resonance key, which we do, we can open that anyway, so. But there you go. So we've got gold pine resin, which allows you to put uh, like lightning on your weapon. Let's force these guys a bit. Apparently, take a shit ton of damage. Not entirely sure how I got hit there, but apparently I did. Oh, uh, no, stop it. Okay, we are kind of trapped in this corner here. It's okay. I'm screwing up immensely right now, but it's okay. I'm out of practice, damn it. That's my excuse. Now, there's a mini boss down the staircase. First of all, let's grab what he has, which is a waist cloth, which I think actually has better physical defense. Yes, it does. We'll equip that. Now we look silly. 
And there's a trap there. That killed me first time. Apparently this guy just dies by activating it. Oh wow, he dropped his armor and his waistcloth. We'll equip the armor. <laughs> we, look, we look fucking stupid right now. I assure you there's some really cool sets of armor in this game if you if you aren't aware. We just haven't found them yet. Right, there's a black knight down here. And the deal with these guys is they have really good drops. Uh, and they don't respawn apart from the ones in the very last area of the game. They're basically mini-bosses. Anything you kill and doesn't respawn and isn't a boss is a mini-boss as far as I'm concerned. We're going to try and backstab him. It probably won't work. And then we're going to start chucking pyromancy at him. Shit. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're not so fine. Right, let's get out of here. Heal up. He's going to waste my Estus. But it's, there's, there's like a ring behind him we want to get to. Plus we want wherever he drops. So it's worth it. We can get back here real quick anyway. I might not even need Estus for the boss to be honest. This guy's probably tougher. He's super fast, I tell you that. Go away. Oh! Can't believe he hit me. Why did he freaking drop on his head? Well, we can, and it didn't do a lot. Is he dead? Yes, he's dead. And we only got a Titanite Chunk, which is probably the worst thing he could have dropped, but that's okay. Now he won't respawn, and we can get to the ring that he was guarding. We need a better weapon. This thing sucks balls. Let's go grab our reward. Our real reward. Raggy. Rot roll. There we go. Blue tier stone ring. We'll equip that now. Boost defense when your HP is low. Are we slower now? Is this... Let's try putting this back on. Right, I'm going to actually keep this on instead of the armor just because we can move quicker with this. I think that's the best idea. Now, we have no... Uh, Istus flask. So I probably should go back to the bonfire. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to try the boss. The boss is weak to lightning, which is why we picked up the gold pine resin. I'm going to open this. There's a mini boss down at the stairs that I'm not going to fight just yet, because he is super freaking tough. He drops a very useful ring, though, so we will be killing him at some point. Now, the boss is going to be through this fog gate. Um, so, we're going to put the gold pine resin... Oh, we do have it on our bar. And then we're going to remove that and yeah we'll, we'll leave it for that like that for now so what I'm planning to do uh, beat the crap out of him with the gold pine resin if I get to the position where I think I'm gonna die I'm gonna use the homeward bone to go back to the bonfire then I'll cut out me running back here and start the fight with him again hopefully he won't kill me like that but we will see oh yes we will see There's going to be two snipers up here that you really have to deal with, otherwise they will screw you up during the fight. Two-hand this guy, and then this one. No, you don't, buddy. What oh, you drop? Give me. You dropped his crossbow. It could actually be useful. Let's have a look. 50 damage, and we can wield it. Well, that's okay. It's probably quite a decent drop. I don't really like crossbows on this, because you can't look down the sight like you can with a regular bow. And this guy died here, apparently. There's a bloodstain. Let go! Touch bloodstain. How did he die? Looks like he got knocked off the ladder, probably by the boss. Which is something you have to be careful of. So, first of all, we're going to run along here. Use this. Get our home with bones ready. Let the boss, and then run straight back. This is not really a cheap tactic. I, th I think this tower's here intentionally. So remember, we're going to do quite a bit of damage to him because of what we have. He will try and hit me there. Let's drop off. And on his head. Uh oh. Oh, this is not going so well. Let me up. Now. Let's try and roll. 
Roll back. I should really uh, have gone back to the bonfire, but we did it anyway. Horrible start to that fight, but at least we beat him. And I can hold my head up slightly higher, at least at least because of the fact that I didn't have to heal. So now we're very nearly dead, but we're also very close to a bonfire, technically. And you'll see what I mean by technically. Be real careful around here. I can't remember if there's any enemies. There might be. And there are some items here. Well, an item. That's one of the few instances where there'll actually be an item hidden sort of in a crate. You can see it glowing slightly, but technically it's in the crate. There's a nasty looking bridge down there. That's the next way we got to go after we ring the first bell. But we don't have the key for that yet. And praise the sun, apparently. So we're going to meet a very important NPC down here called Solaire. Ah, hello. You don't look hollow, far from it. I am Solaire of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. You find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> You're creepy, Solaire. Oh, I'll get your message out of the way. I'm trying to click on oh. Solaire. Aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. Yeah, sure. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? I suggest you say yes to this guy. This pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. What science soaps there? We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what he's basically saying is if you use the white sign soapstone, you can put down a sign for other people to summon you into the game for co-op. And he's saying that at certain places, his sign will be down there for us to allow to allow us to summon him for co-op. Oh, hello there. I will stay behind to gaze at the sun. The sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. You are gross. 